All right, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading, equities, and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com. There is a free 14-day trial uh, of Bookmap. It comes with education. You get access to the educational course. Uh, it's four parts, and then um, you also get access to the live advanced order flow webinars. Uh, those start in about uh, 26 minutes, and um, and there's a host of other resources that you also gain access to. So you get the platform, understand how to use it, uh, and then uh, learn how to trade order flow with it. Okay, and not just order flow. Uh, Bookmap is able to visualize this information in a very unique way that you can uh, start to understand the book uh, and how traders are behaving in the auction on much higher time frames. Therefore, you're able to use the order book on much higher time frames to make more insight for your trading decisions. Good morning, Gary. All right. Uh, where do you find the course? Um, Let's see. Uh, you can email me. Uh, you've been with us for uh, for for quite some time. Uh, great to have you uh, here, Gary. Um, it's for current customers and um, uh, those that uh, uh, you receive an email uh, that will give you access to that. All right. Now uh, that might be uh, before uh, before you were involved with us, Gary. So uh, just uh, email me at uh, at bruce at bookmap.com. Okay. Okay, uh, more information, you can reach us at support at bookmap.com uh, as well. All right, so let's uh, let's jump in and take a look at the website uh, quickly, uh, just to give you guys an understanding of who we are uh, and how to access some of these things uh, in Bookmap. Okay, so this is the home page, and uh, here's the about section. There's an intro video that's a couple minutes, uh, so watch that. I give you an insight to what's going on, uh, and then just some um, uh, overviews here of, of what Bookmap is. Okay, so uh, you can click here for the registration for the uh, webinar. Uh, you can also try the product here uh, and uh, testimonials. Uh, there's also Bookmap for equities. It's not just for futures. Okay, that said, uh, in January we're also going to offer cryptocurrencies. All right, so you'll be able to trade Bitcoin using Bookmap, which I can't wait. Uh, it's going to be a significant advantage uh, being able to read the order book and uh, current and historical order book in the cryptocurrencies. So it'll give us a lot of insight. All right. Um, this is the um, data feed using uh, NASDAQ Total View with Dev Experts, uh, and that will allow you access to uh, equities. Okay, connectivity uh, for futures. Uh, these are the ways that you connect uh, Bookmap. Okay, uh, there are some platforms here. Okay, like Ninja, TTX Trader Pro, and Interactive uh, Brokers Traders Workstation. We connect also to the API of these three platforms. Okay, so uh, uh, however, Bookmap is a platform just like they are. Okay, so therefore, uh, you can just connect Bookmap directly using CQG, Rhythmic, Gain, IQ Feed, Transact, uh, or uh, Dev Experts for for Nasdaq, or I'm sh I should say all U.S. equities. Okay, pricing information and the free trial here. Uh, the um, uh, there's Bookmap Basic, Advanced, and Quant. Uh, let's see the basic it's 49 per month now this is truly the um, really the only version there is of bookmap right the other two uh, versions here uh, they're just uh, additional features uh, that are added to the basic uh, platform okay and um, uh, I can just uh, cover some of those features now uh, with either bookmap basic or advanced you get the 14-day trial Okay, now you also get with the advanced the ability to trade right from the chart. Okay, the one click trading. Now, this is a significant, a significant advantage because uh, you have all of the um, order book information in front of you. Therefore, you can hide your stops behind high liquidity uh, or you can front run that high liquidity to guarantee or higher probability of getting filled before others do. 
okay? And then there's a host of proprietary indicators we have developed for reading the book, uh, specific players, uh, and order flow, okay? So for example, large lot tracker identifies larger players holding the majority of liquidity at specific price levels. There's a, a volume and balance indicator, a book and balance indicator, Iceberg detector, again, this is for larger players identifying where they are providing uh, liquidity uh, without it being shown in the book, okay? That's using a hidden order uh, or iceberg order, All right? And there's also a correlation tracker here uh, for looking at um, uh, correlating uh, markets uh, to your trading instruments. Okay, Quants, you can reach out to us here uh, and um, uh, ask about uh, more information. You're going to have your own specific needs, so uh, let us know what those are, and uh, we can help you out. All right. Uh, if you need a data feed uh, for a trial, uh, you don't have a uh, futures account yet. Well, you can click here uh, and uh, uh, get like a two-week uh, trial, usually of uh, specific data feeds. Uh, and uh, if you want more information, there's a complete um, comparison uh, chart here that you can click on. Okay, these are some of our partners here, and a bit further down, um, you can uh, uh, reach us uh, here uh, at uh, phone number and also support at bookmap.com. Okay, follow us on Twitter, uh, social media, uh, get up to date information of what's going on. Uh, underscore uh, at no, I'm sorry, at bookmap underscore pro, uh, and then our YouTube page here, uh, plenty of videos. Uh, intro videos, features and components, and order flow video snippets uh, to go over, okay? All right, um, let's go through the um, the platform, okay? And uh, I just want to take a bigger picture approach here, and uh, NASDAQ is selling off, but uh, uh, nothing else is, well, back and forth here, I should say, on the S&P and on the, uh, on the Russell, okay? But uh, NASDAQ, uh, pretty pretty severe sell-off here. Uh, oil, we may take a look at oil here um, because um, I want to show something very unique in Bookmap. And um, really, it, it demonstrates really well how these markets operate, okay? Uh, and uh, how Bookmap very clearly visualizes this information, okay? And uh, yeah, we'll go over this because there's a pretty good example here, all right? All right, so uh, for those of you who are new uh, looking at Bookmap, um, well, let's go through it. Uh, this looks probably pretty foreign to anything else you've seen before, okay? Uh, it's actually really simple data. Uh, it's um, more uh, clear and transparent and objective data than a candlestick chart is, uh, and is especially than indicators. Um, uh, Bookmap is not an indicator. It is a, a real um, uh, objective, a very objective uh, view of the uh, market, current market, and historical market. Okay, what we're showing here in this chart are basically three different elements: historical best bid and offer, the volume that traded on the historical best bid and offer, and the evolution, the current. Uh, order book as well as the evolution of the order book, the historical order book. Okay, it's that's the grayscale that you see here that's plotted onto the chart. All right, now we do have an indicator sub panel here. I'm going to close that up and we're just going to go through the basics here. Uh, we're going to actually put on a candlestick chart since we're accustomed to looking at that and we're going to turn off all of these other levels of data. All right, and let's zoom out a bit. Okay, and let's, like, let's take a look at crude here, all right? Well, you can see a lot of sideways action, uh, and um, uh, this here, uh, well, this is the, the, the 1035 candle here, so five minutes from 1030 to 35. Look at the volatility there, all right? Well, we had oil inventories at 1030, all right? So um, um, we can, uh, we're going to go over that here, uh, and, uh, and because it's a really good demonstration of, how these markets behave and how liquidity is so important, okay? Understanding that heat map. All right, now the candlestick chart is open high, low, and close of a five minute period, okay? But what happened within that five minute period? Okay, we have no clue, 
there's all sorts of uh, volume that traded. We don't know where it traded. We don't know how much. Uh, we don't know what type it, it is. Was it aggressive buying or selling? These are all really important issues to understand uh, for much better uh, and insightful trading decisions. Okay, so, um, and that is uh, not um, on this chart whatsoever. Okay, even a footprint chart is not going to show you that. Um, I mean, it'll show you the volume and where it traded uh, and what type, but it's aggregated. Okay, it's aggregated on a time frame or maybe a bar rotation. Okay, and that's, uh, that's disguising really what's going on. Okay, so that's a problem. Uh, and uh, that problem is solved here in Bookmap by just simply showing you historical best bid and offer. Okay, so um, uh, here, here we have the historical best bid and offer with the red and green line. Okay, this allows us to see microstructure. Okay, we can see all sorts of little microstructural areas that are broken, uh, and uh, and then uh, we see uh, rejection of areas and back up into the structure, etc. This gives us a lot of insight to what's going on here, especially when we turn on the volume. Okay, so uh, uh, we can see here, for example, nice cluster, actually a few, one here, okay, and another one here. Right, and then we see uh, the um, uh, the news release here at 10:30. All right, um, let's see, uh, Francis. Yeah, I, I um, uh, uh, replied uh, to your email uh, and forwarded that on to. Uh, uh, you're looking for some of the uh, quant uh, quant features, so um, uh, someone should get back to you on that. Um, they, uh, you, you need to speak to someone that uh, uh, can can help you out more with. Um, uh, hooking you up with the specific features you need okay so I, I've emailed them uh, and um, uh, you'll you'll receive a reply pretty soon yeah yeah no problem we know we understand we've worked with uh, with several quants okay um, so uh, all right so this microstructure we can see how uh, we move down quick we moved up quickly moved down went sideways moved down again went sideways uh, and then just a lot of volatility okay and we see now uh, a little outcome of that now at 10:45, and we see this nice move to the upside now. Okay, so uh, we'll we'll go through it, uh, but um, uh, let's uh, continue on here. So that microstructure. Okay, what about uh, where the volume traded? All right, so let's uh, let's take a look at that. We'll turn on the volume dots. Okay, so the uh, the dots here. Uh, let me. I'm just going to take the. Um, a candlestick off here just because it's uh, really not showing us too much uh, and uh, now we're understanding just two elements uh, presented here on the bookmap chart that is historical best bid and offer and the volume that traded in those areas okay so let's uh, zoom into an area and check it out okay because so, you can see a nice little move here uh, microstructure broken retest down again and then it moved right, right back up Okay, and we accept above this area here, as you can see, right here at uh, this 57 and 78. Okay, and then that was broken over here, right? Anyway, um, let's zoom into one of these areas here, and I want to show you these uh, uh, volume dots. Okay, and I'm going to bring up the volume dot size a bit, and we'll zoom in. Okay, so what we're showing you here in Bookmap. Okay, we'll just zoom in, and um, uh, here's your very, very simple uh, uh, representation of the market. Historical best offer is the green line. Historical uh, best, I'm sorry, best bid is the green line. Best offer is the red line. Okay, now uh, you can see it's just a tick wide here, right? That's the spread. Okay, we can see other other times where the spread widens out. Okay. Uh, Crude is pretty, pretty tight here, so we probably won't see it. All right, that's fine. Um, we'll just zoom back in here and take a look at uh, what we're displaying in Bookmap. Okay, now you see these dots here on the uh, best offer, green dots. That, these are transactions. Okay, uh, we can use the rollover or the uh, data tip tool here, it gives us the date, the exact time. Okay, down to milliseconds at uh, this point, 
uh, we can we'll see we can continue to zoom in and we can zoom in to nanoseconds right billions of seconds okay uh, here we are we're down at a nanosecond level here okay now we don't trade at those levels uh, but we're just showing you that we're recording every single market event okay we have a complex event processor that can record all of this data and present it to you you're getting a very objective view of the marketplace okay the transparency is what is key here so as i zoom back out okay and we come back to millisecond level here all right like a blink of a human eye, I can tell you, is between this vertical line here and this line here, 200 milliseconds, okay? So these uh, three uh, trade uh, events here took place in less than about half of uh, the time it, it takes to blink your eye, all right? That's how quickly these markets trade, okay? And they trade algorithmically. Uh, so um, uh, we want to understand that algorithmic price action. Anyway, uh, we'll, and we will see it, okay? So uh, anyway, if I hover over this dot, uh, it shows me the date, the time, um, the uh, liquidity here on the ask was 61 contracts, and it's also showing me uh, the volume, all right? So volume was uh, just, this is just one, okay? This one here is one as well, okay? This, they're all here are just for a volume of one. Okay, anyway, uh, that's what we're showing here with volume and historical best bid and offer, all right? Now, that's great, and you see that uh, as I start to zoom out, we consolidate just graphically and visually as, as we compress the timeline, we consolidate this data into bigger dots, okay? So uh, that area down here, uh, it'll start to become just a, a bigger green dot at a specific point uh, when I consolidate this data. Okay, and, uh, and and at that point, you can see that uh, there's so many transactions that take place that we just give you the overall delta of that volume. So right here, very quickly, 422 contracts traded. Okay, it caused the breakout of this area, and we accept it above for a bit. Okay, majority of it, about two-thirds or maybe three-quarters of this volume, was aggressive market buys. Okay and uh, about a quarter of it was uh, aggressive market selling. All right, so you have an understanding of that volume and what type of volume, exactly where, uh, and um, uh, how much. All right, gives us a lot of insight. Um, and um, now we have that microstructure uh, and the play of volume within that microstructure. All right, so uh, now let's go to the, um, uh, heat map and uh, let me turn that on because uh, this is the next level of information okay this is the third level of information that we're showing you okay and uh, what is it all right well it is and let me zoom in here it's the it's the order book uh, visualized okay so here's our limit order book here all right this is our best bid and offer in this column, this current order book column. Uh, and uh, this is our depth here on the offer and our depth here on the bid. Okay, here's our price ladder. And this is a dome. It's a simplified dome here in Bookmap. Uh, and um, these are traders providing liquidity at these levels. Okay, this offers a lot of insight to understanding the auction. Okay, we want to understand where that large liquidity is and how these players at these levels behave. Do they have the intent to sell on these levels or are they going to pull that liquidity uh, and is it going to come up further into a higher area in trade? Okay, these are all questions that we want to answer. All right, we look at the uh, order book uh, for uh, understanding the behavior here. Now, the problem with the current view of this order book is you can see these numbers change. Okay. That's a problem because as soon as they change, we don't know what the data was unless you memorize it. Okay, so for the current or current book uh, and auction, the dome is good. Uh, but uh, to really utilize this information, uh, you'd have to memorize these price levels and the behavior around them. Okay, uh, in Bookmap, uh, we're showing a graphical representation of that order book here. Here's our best bid and offer. 
last traded volume is this number, and then you can see the heat map. Okay, the heat map is showing us high liquidity here. Okay, the um, uh, the number uh, here uh, that are these very high numbers are painted white, bright white uh, in uh, in book map. Higher liquidity, or I'm sorry, slightly lower liquidity is going to be a, a little bit uh, a darker uh, shade of gray. All right, so we can start to understand these levels now, and we can start to understand the behavior of these levels because we record this data here. Okay, so we solve that issue of uh, of that problem with the dome that does not display you the historical view. Okay, because we pro um, projected onto the chart here historically. So these striations that you see here at this uh, 5825. Okay, this is the adding and pulling of liquidity. As I hover over these areas, you can see very clearly uh, 195 contracts, and then it's darker down to 109. Okay. Uh, 109 and then 122 okay back to 175 okay back to you know 211 in this area here okay and now it's 171 all right now we can start to gauge and understand the player at this price level okay and we can start to see uh, if they really mean to trade at these levels or not okay as price comes up uh, towards them will they pull or will they stay in the book we can we can answer all of that information or all of those questions uh, when we come back up into these areas all right and you can see how important this is okay we are in the you can see we just came down and tested these guys here uh, on the uh, on the offer okay and they pulled and went one price lower we can see it right right here that's their behavior Okay, and um, it looks like we're going to come up and uh, test our uh, our 25 area now. Okay, it's looking pretty poised here uh, to uh, to see if these guys mean business up here. All right now, what I want to uh, before we get into the you know the live market here, uh, what's what I want to cover is the um, this this event. Okay, this is this is a really strong breakout. There's no question about that. Uh, but um, uh, understanding liquidity and understanding how these markets trade, okay, this is this is key, all right? And um, uh, this is a good example right here, all right? Well, look how right, <laughs> it's just amazing to me every time I see this, right here, right here at, um, at 1024 and 32 seconds, okay? Look how everyone started to pull their liquidity at that price level, okay? Why are they doing that? Well, they don't want the risk of the data that's coming out here at 1030. They're pulling, okay? We see another level here, right here. There, if I uh, hover over this area, okay, at, uh, at 1027, okay, note that the, um, the heat map here, just to, just to the left of my uh, vertical uh, crosshair line, Okay, note how they started pulling there again too, okay, especially here, right? Uh, so they don't want risk, right? So why why did we trade up here and why did we trade down here? Because that's where there's liquidity, okay? Everyone else pulled here. So when we get volatile action like this, uh, it's because there is a lack of liquidity, okay? You can see how important liquidity is just very, very simply looking at this uh, at this example. Okay, so uh, understanding this information, understanding the behavior of these players at these levels uh, offers you a lot of transparency and insight uh, to uh, uh, making trade decisions here. Okay, so um, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, there's many ways to read this and that's what we go through in the advanced order flow webinars that will uh, start in here just a, just a couple of minutes. All right. So uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm sorry I don't have uh, more time to go over this. Um, it would be uh, really good to see if we're going to uh, come up into some of these uh, higher areas here, but they're they're getting pretty aggressive in the order book now, as you can see in crude, right? So um, uh, let's see here some questions. Um, now, George, um, uh, let me let me explain. Um, uh, your question about uh, uh, liquidity and they, um, if there's pulling or if they're adding, it it's really contextual. 
right? It, this is not a binary responsive type of thing. It's not like an indicator crosses over and therefore, you know, um, I do this or I do that. Okay, it's an auction. Markets are complex. Okay, we're looking at the auction and we're making trade decisions based on the auction. Okay, uh, and that's what we want to understand is the context of the auction. Okay, it's not just because they're, they pulled liquidity that, uh, uh, you know, all of a sudden the market is going to shoot through those areas. It could, uh, but what if there's just no more uh, buyers or sellers or Let's say there, there's liquid, they pull liquidity on the offer, but the aggressive buyers don't show up. Well, the market's going to exhaust out and it's going to rotate back to where it can. Okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, in fact, that's what it kind of looks like. Uh, well, you can see uh, a, a, an example here, exhaustion. You can see an example here of exhaustion, also here. Okay. Why did it rotate here? Well, we don't see liquidity in this area. Okay, not necessarily. I mean, there's, um, if we zoom in, we'll probably see, you know, little pockets of it here and there. But um, uh, look at the selling. There's no sellers. Okay, it rotates up higher because it can trade up in this area. It's demonstrated it can, it can trade up here. Okay, and that's where it goes. Okay, it also finds liquidity up here too. Then the, the, the buyers step in with high liquidity up in this area. Okay, so we're understanding that, ah, okay, now there's buyers that are interested here. We know that, right? And uh, I, I can pretty much guarantee you that they uh, they got filled in this area because look at the move here to the upside. The buyers are engaged, okay? So um, uh, now we know that, right? And we can see that they swept through this area right here, okay? Just because there was high liquidity doesn't mean that we we're going to bounce back down lower, the buyers took them on. They took all of that liquidity. So when it came up to this this level, the sellers up here, that they're providing high liquidity. Okay, 202 contracts uh, were up at at this level, or 204 contracts. Um, when they came up to this level, the buyers said, "I'll take all of them and plus more." Okay, and we swept the book. Okay, understanding sweep of the book and how we go to higher price ranges is an essential uh, market uh, uh, behavior uh, to understanding the order flow. Okay, and this is what we go through in the educational course. All right, anyway, I've got to leave it at that. And uh, for those of you who are registered uh, with Bookmap, we'll see you uh, in the next webinar starting in just a minute. Okay, all right, take care. Bye-bye.